All right, just answering a quick question about here about how to assign different materials to different solids in a model. Um, the easiest thing, well, first of all, you need two different materials. So I'll go in here, material, and say new. And I could type in the values or load them up. But let's just make one of these guys out of aluminum. And the, the create commands automatically repeat, figuring you probably are making more than one. And we'll make the other piece out of uh, just a regular old steel. So now we have two uh, materials. And the, the way FEMAP works, materials are hooked to properties. So for solids, we're just going to create a new solid property. In the default, most final guys are plates. But I'm going to go solid here. And these connect it to one of those materials. And there's some other options here, especially if these materials were orthotropic or something. You might need to align it differently, but these are isotropic, so the only thing the property really does is connect up the material. Aluminum. And we'll make another property that's connected to the steel. All right, so now we got the two properties, and now meshing is what actually assigns them to the solids. We could uh, mesh control attributes on solid. We could pre-assign the properties that when you mesh, they got put on there. But the other thing you can do is, 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 is just, you know, just pick the solid and mesh it. And then what it's going to do is ask you for the property. And once it's been asked the first time, it does get assigned. So if you remesh, it'll, it'll do something else. Uh, you know, use that property again. So this one, let's tap mesh. And we're going to make him the steel. And now the one is made of one and the one is made of the other. Just to kind of complete the whole thing here, let's just do an automatic connection between these two solids. We're just going to glue them together. And it finds the glue and shows you the faces that are glued. And then let's go ahead and constrain this. Uh, we'll create an empty constraint set. And we'll just say base. And we'll go in there now and create some constraint definitions. We'll do a new surface base constraint. And just pick the outside here. We're just going to fix it. And then for fun, let's create some loading. Let's give it a pull load. And we'll go in and do the same thing. Create a load definition, say, on surface. We'll pick these two surfaces and we'll pull in the Z direction with a value of 500. Uh, now, just to you know, kind of keep this going, let's just do a file, save as. Uh, just call it M1. We'll create a new analysis set, and we can do it. Let's do it from the toolbar or the info trace. We create a new Nastran analysis, and we're going to do statics. Uh, it is smart enough if you've got a load set and a constraint set, it automatically fills them in, so you don't need to pick it. So now we can just hit analyze. Uh, Nastran is going to run here on my machine. It's not a very big model, so it should run fairly quick. Looks like it's done already. Now it's just going to read the results. And now that the results are in, I can say, show me deformed. And since that thing's a little bit off-center, it pulls it up a little bit. Show me the stresses. And we can turn off the geometry completely. And let's just, the cleanup thing I like to do a lot is control Q, turn everything off, and just turn the elements back on. And now you got this piece. So the stress concentration right at the corner, kind of expected. Uh, let's just do positive only on animations. We'll see that looks like it's working. And we'll even turn up the number of frames. So there's how you assign the materials. And there's also a nice thing in, in FEMAP later on, if you want to double check, I do have the highlighter still on. When I pick a material, it highlights everything that's made out of that material, which is just a nice check to later on make sure you've assigned the materials to what you think.